Well, hey gang, I thought I'd touch base on turn, the beginning of turn four in the tactical surprise scenario for the next war Poland. And I think based on what I'm seeing and feeling is that we are kind of at the end of the momentum for the Soviet player. So no, the Russian player, doggone it, I keep calling them Soviets. And that is primarily because I just found a hex that needs a little chit. Uh, we've, we've now lost initiative. This turn, we, this last turn, turn three, we ended up actually uh, being outscored on VPs through uh, a number of aircraft losses. Uh, an HQ was destroyed and we lost uh, two steps, uh, two steps, two units, two Russian units uh, that were reduced. They were attacked and targeted by the evil 101st Airborne, uh, these guys right here. Uh, they and uh, they took a step loss with their armor, uh, this armored unit that came in. We didn't actually even have to use the, uh, the, um, the efficiency ratings of these units because the odds were so great. These guys... Uh, you know, just become a two when they're reduced. And so two on defense was easy to manage even with uh, the artillery support. There was no HQ in range at the time that could uh, make, uh, that could provide any assistance. So really kind of a, kind of a beat down for the, the Russian player there, the air war now with some more reinforcements. I'm just going to move over here slowly. Uh, some more reinforcements for the, the NATO or allied forces. You can see that they're really starting to build up a weight against what is uh, now a uh, significantly reduced Soviet Air Force. That stack on the right-hand side there is the, uh, the current Air Force losses. And I think I what I probably need to do is go back and revisit replacements. Uh, I've got to buy air, those aircraft backlist supply points, but I only have, I'm down to 17 supply points. Uh, so it's been expensive, an expensive three turns and have not achieved very much in uh, the Baltic, in the ocean here. Just had a hard time getting hits. Uh, couldn't clear uh, cities fast enough. I kept rolling ones for clearing rolls against uh, against these things keep popping up all the time, sixes. So still trying to clear this guy over here. Finally cleared this one. Uh, this guy now has uh, reinforcements. Uh, th th these both have reinforcements in them. So I might have played Lithuania wrong. I, I'm, I've got to check and see if they could have taken uh, the last set of reinforcements in once this was captured, I may have played that wrong. In which case, you know, it's neither here nor there. It's, it's three units here that would uh, head into Poland and that might bolster up the attack uh, coming out of Kaliningrad here, but really not particularly strong. I've, I've done some replacement of units here. We took a, a beat down uh, on steps here as well. And, you know, we, once again, the uh where did he go you know this guy actually has a one strike marker running not not uh not zero um yeah the some of the u.s forces were really kicking some hiney up here uh, just through poor timing uh, we we the soviets attacked inflicted some losses but took a step loss and then in the uh in the reaction the reaction then follow on phase the the americans got uh, enough forces around some of the Russians to really start uh, giving them a bit of a smacking around. So I'm feeling like we've lost the, the, the power in the engine to fight effectively. I'm too spread out. I've done a really poor job of entering into, into Poland. I spread myself out here in the south too much. I spread myself out in Kaliningrad. I didn't do enough in Lithuania and uh, Latvia and Estonia fast enough. So I think I'm going to call it here at the beginning of turn four. I'm going to have a look at the air war and see how that shapes up. And then we'll probably uh, call it quits and, and, and maybe reset this and uh, play again. I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. That's all I had for you. I just want to give you a quick little update on what was going on. Look forward to talking to you soon.